to analyze the skills of one of the top point guards in NCAA women's basketball. We brought Skylar Diggins into the ESPN Sports Science Lab. First, we'll examine her dribbling skills. Within this basketball, there's an array of inertial motion sensors. It'll measure dribble speed, consistency, and force. It is the state of the art in terms of instrumented basketballs. Okay, here we go. As Skylar dribbles at full speed, the ball is only in contact with each of her hands for nine hundredths of a second. And she maintains a pace of nearly five bounces a second. That's faster than a professional boxer hits a speed bag. And amazingly, Skylar, a left-handed player, actually pushes the basketball with her right hand with over six Gs of acceleration, 2% more force than her dominant left hand. But of course, point guards rarely dribble standing still. So we'll test Skylar on the run. Without the ball, Skylar can accelerate to a speed of almost 16 and a half miles an hour in just eight strides, covering 60 feet in 3.69 seconds. And with the ball, her time slowed on average by less than five hundredths of a second. This ability to maintain speed with and without the ball is on par with NBA point guard John Wall. I feel like the ball is a part of me, and it's just something about it that your body just lights up. When she's facing traffic, Skylar couples her ball handling skills with agility, changing directions with a 44 degree lateral cut. In less than three tenths of a second, Skylar never lets the ball get more than three inches away from her hand. And our biomechanical sensors reveal that when she pulls up to shoot, her forearm angles are remarkably consistent from shot to shot, deviating on average less than five degrees. These textbook mechanics enable Skylar to hit 36 out of 40 from 14 feet, draining a remarkable 90% of her shots here in the lab. Yay! For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!